Hi everybody, this is Jamie from the Unlikely Homeschool. And for the last couple weeks in science, we have been learning about the scientific method and how scientists use five key steps to solving a problem or a question. And we've kind of had a problem around our house um, with some bread. And so when each of my kids were able to choose an experiment to sort of um, practice the scientific method, my daughter, who's in fifth grade, and my son, who's in first grade, partnered up to help solve this problem. And what was the problem, Sweets? Uh, Mom has been making homemade bread, and we've put it in certain places, and it's been going bad very quickly, and we haven't been, we haven't been able to eat it, let's say, three or four days after it's been cooked. And we decided to so solve this problem and see which environment and which um, circumstances uh, you would want to put your bread in. Okay, so we've had homemade bread and it doesn't have a very long shelf life. It goes bad after just a couple of days. So you and your brother decided to test out some different environments in our home and different ways to store bread to figure out which way mom should start storing our bread. Now, you had four different environments that you tested. Son, what were the four different places you decided to store the bread for your experiment? The kitchen counter by, by the heater and in the bathroom and in the refrigerator. Okay, why did you choose the bathroom to store bread? Because it's really moisture. There's a lot of moisture there. It's a really wet environment. So we have the counter by a heat vent in the refrigerator where it's cold and in the bathroom where it's moist. And we put it, you guys put the bread there about four days ago. And this morning you went around to test um, or to see the results of your experiment. You made a chart to help you um, collect your data. Now with this experiment, or any experiment, we learned that you have to have a control group. So which out of those four environments was your control group, Sweets? Um, the kitchen counter because it doesn't really have like so much heat and it's not really, really cold. So it's about the same temperature. It's kind of a, a normal temperature, plus it's kind of a normal place maybe to store bread. Within each environment, you had three different methods of storing the bread. What were the three methods? Uh, we just, the control of one type of bread was just bread sitting out. So that was your control group within each environment, mm -hmm. okay. And then we had a paper bag and then we also had like a plastic bag. So you stored a slice of bread in each one of those methods in each environment. And we tried to have the breads the same size so that if one was like really soggy, we would know that it was just because of the environment, not because of the size. Okay, so that was another control, is that the bread slices were about the same. It w They were all from the same loaf of bread that I had made. Okay, so after four days of sitting out, you tell me what was the best place and the best method for storing bread. The kitchen counter in the plastic bag was a really good place to store bread. And then also in the fridge if with the plastic bag. And also in the fridge with the paper bag. Okay. Where was the worst place to store bread? The worst out of everything, every type of bread, every environment was the bathroom in a plastic bag. And you can see it is super gross. You would not want to eat that. It's got really moldy. Why do you suppose um, the bread in the plastic bag in, in the bathroom got moldy, but the bread in the paper bag in the bathroom didn't? Um, I think because the bathroom is really moist and it has a lot of water in the air. And so that's kind of seeped into the bread. And I think if I'm right, germs are attracted to moist 
places and cool places and that was the coolest moistest place and so I think they were attracted that to that and then also the plastic bag I think it was because the plastic bag um, keep seals in the water and doesn't let it out so the water's always in the bag which is the plastic bag or the paper bag um, can the water can seep through and there's a giant hole here and which this one is like sealed okay so you think um, the moisture and I actually think it's the heat in the bathroom but the moisture and the heat were kept in the plastic bag and didn't get a chance to go out anywhere and so bacteria started to grow good so I think we've solved our problem the very plus best place to store our bread is where son My tummy. in your tummy well that is a good place well that has been a really fun experiment and you guys did well practicing your scientific method happy homeschooling